Good morning, folks. Keep in the back of your mind that Jupiter, Ceres, and Venus are in alignment that is neither heliocentric nor geocentric. At the same time, the Sun, Mercury, and Uranus line up as well. You might remember I said that that heliocentric conjunction could raise solar activity up from nothing. We got an M flare hours ago, but I'll have to come back to that. A number of people are using these alignments to predict flares and quakes, and some of our records are pretty good. One of us, Patrick Gerald, must be on cloud nine right about now. After a couple non-associated triples gave him a bit of frustration last few months, he had suggested that this lineup could be significant for earthquakes even without a major geocentric alignment. Big Vancouver quake and the 7.4 in Guatemala. Almost 50 are dead so far. Interesting to look at the last couple heliocentric conjunctions of Mercury and Uranus. We see a lot of associated earthquake activity when we'd expect flares, but hey, we are all still working out which alignments are significant for which reason. Also, here's the remainder of November's lineups. Two boys in event mode, each near one of the large quakes yesterday. No tsunamis reported, however, and even though this buoy doesn't show an event in progress, it took 60 meter swings yesterday. I find it very difficult to imagine the other detector nearby wouldn't catch that. A landslide collapsed a mine in Nigeria. A truck with radioactive material has plunged into a waterway in Northland. Couple power station issues, the Enrico Fermi nuke plant was shut down, which is better than the Electrobel plant, which kind of shut itself down, the workers missing in the explosion. Northern Europe has been stuck in that Arctic low. It's going to move on the next few days, and you will see the north creep out of negative temperatures Celsius. It's finally raining in Queensland. This system would not be stopped. Thunderstorms coming to the region, actually already doing a bit of damage. Here's the nor'easter pounding the sandy zone, although not quite right to call it a nor'easter anymore now that she's got a name. You remember we are naming winter storms now. A different low over the north central states is ripping warm moist air straight north. It's good for temperatures and precipitation. Back to the sun, it's not just Patrick Gerald feeling good as the flare struck pretty much on cue. It was a small M flare. There was a CME produced, not headed at earth. Gotta take you back seven days to this earth facing coronal hole. We waited and we waited as it turned. Finally, yesterday, it hit with this density spike, which is a bunching up of the slower moving solar wind particles ahead of these faster moving coronal hole stream particles. Add this to the quake factoring, solar wind speed nearly doubled with elevated density. Our magnetic shield became unstable later in the day and we did have short lived plasma penetration into our system. Solar flares could ramp up further, quakes as well, especially next week. Eyes open, no fear, it's 6.08 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.